Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Joe and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're back for the one key challenge and if you couldn't tell by the Steam profile's name and I would say the profile picture but I mean Mehdi, what is that profile picture man? Come on. It's my religion. I worship this every single day. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's the most ambitious crossover of our generation. Fortnite and Minecraft. What more could you want? But, uh, yeah, essentially, Mehdi, welcome to the One Key Challenge, man. How are you doing today? And are you aware of the concept of the One Key Challenge? Yep, I've, um, I've had a look at all the past, uh, the playlist, as a matter of fact, of the One Key Challenge, and I've got a good idea of exactly the cosmetics that I want to get. Awesome. So, I mean, I can ask you the spoiler question now. Do you know what class you're going to be making a loadout for? Yes, I do. I originally was going to do, well, Medic. In fact, I was going to do something in relation with my memory maker, like a, a film creator, like a director or something. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I found something I found something in even better. So the class I'm going to be doing is going to be for the spy. Okay, that's interesting. You're straying away from the kind of the Medic theme you were going to go for. I am going to send this key over. I am just going to phone confirm this now. Medi, I'm really looking forward to seeing how, what you do with this key. And as far as I'm aware, you've even got a little uh, animation planned. So I'm really looking forward to seeing that. Well, no worries. Um, I hope that you and everyone watching this video will enjoy it just as much as I did making it. I'm sure they will. All right. Uh, the key is phone confirmed. It should be with you now. I'm going to hand you guys over to Medi. Damn it! What's going on with you? Well, if you really must know, I'm doing the Pyro Joe's One Key Challenge. Do you even know what to do? Yes, as a matter of fact, I do know what to do. I go to scrap.tf, I give them my key, they give me 40 si- wait, what? What happened to the economy? <laughs> Shut up and get this off of me. All right, all right, quit your whining. All right, where are we off to? We're going to backpack.tf for me to get my cosmetics. Kayak! Sorry, sorry, I swiped the wrong way. Eating them, beating them, eating them, beating them. How many tabs do you have open? I don't tell you how to live your life. You smell that? The sweet smell of cat. Sweet smell of cat? It doesn't smell like a cat. <laughs> Get out of here, you lazy bastard. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna need you to wait over there. This won't take long. Whoa, 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 wait a second. Why can't I go with you? Don't you remember what happened the last time? <laughs> you make a good point. Okay, time to head back to Mr. Kayak. You slimy little fucker. I should have never loaned you my five bucks. And what did you do? You spent it on that. You just don't understand. That's a mint scented ball sack. I can't leave you for five measly seconds without doing something drastic with your life. Hey! Don't look at me like this! It's not my fault, he's a- Wait. Wait. I can't say- Wait. What the fuck is that? I can't even say- Wait. This is traditional Australian dialogue! What the fuck's going on here? Because this is being uploaded to the Pyro Joe YouTube channel. If we say those words, he's going to lose monetization. He named his dog monetization? What? That, that, what? No! No! That, that's not what I meant! What a stupid fucking name for a dog! Enough with this, Mr. Kirk! Any last words? Yes. As a matter of fact, I do. Look out, everyone! Heavy's gonna say the N-word! That's racist! You can't say the N-word! I hope backpack.tf is alright. Yeah, they'll be fine. Ah! Ah! Sly, 
Sly, come in. Do you read me? Sly. Yeah, I read you loud and very loud. <laughs> I was told to say that, but Medi, for those who aren't maybe aware, uh, talk me through the loader, man. So what was what was the thought process with this? Well, I was having a look at all the original uh, loadouts that happened in the one, you know, the one key challenge, yeah, and yeah. I think the one thing that cross didn't cross my mind was there weren't many video game references. Like, ironically speaking, this is TF2, but there were quite. A bit of loadouts that didn't really have that kind of replica of like a tf2 mascot you know like a popular character yeah, yeah so yeah. i was having a look at the cosmetics and the one thing that crossed my mind was hey you know what with a couple of paints and you know the inflation of keys i could probably make a really good spy um a sly cooper loadout for the spy and so it's, it's and quite I'm an gonna... obscure reference isn't it like i'm sure a lot of the people watching maybe won't know what sly cooper is so do you want to give maybe people a quick rundown i'll flash okay. a few things on the screen as well sure thing so um, back in about oh this is a rough guess maybe about 2003 definitely I hope that's early the right 2000s year. definitely early 2000s early it is back on the PlayStation 2 there was a thievious raccoonist by the name of Sly Cooper Sly came from a long list of family members who of course were in the thieving business however to become a professional master thief you could only steal from other thieves. Now, the basic history of Sly Cooper is it go, there's three games on the PS2 that were originally made. Then when he moved uh, developers, there was the one for the PS3, Thieves in Time. Um, there was also going to be a movie, believe it or not, Sly Cooper, but because of how media, uh, how bad and the box office bomb of Ratchet and Clank, they've turned it in into a TV show. So basically, Sly Cooper as a personality, he's... Oh, sorry for that. <laughs> I was clicking back that's to right. TF2. That's alright, it caught me by surprise, that's all. Um, <laughs> I was... This is Sly Cooper taking your coins from your pocket behind you. Nice, I like it, and because I'm a thief. Yeah. So, um, yeah. what was it that, like, made you want to wanna reference this? Was this, like, one of your favourite game characters, I guess? There was two things that crossed my mind. The first one in particular was, yeah, up there with characters like... Crash Bandicoot, Spyro the Dragon, even Jack and Daxter to an extent. Sly Cooper is up there with like my favorite franchises that I love the games, I love the story, I love the character development, and then the personalities behind each of the characters. Like Sly is a bit of a ladies' man, he's probably a bit cocky in some cases, but he's got such, you know, a charming personality to him. And to control him, it's very fluid and it's quite fun to be you know, a sneaky raccoon going through, sneaking at night past the guards and such like that. And, and trust me, if people who've played Sly Cooper who are watching this, you know exactly what it's like, <laughs> how it feels to play Sly Cooper. It's that stealth element, isn't it, I suppose, that just does kind of like make it a bit more unique. So uh, what are the cosmetics you used in the uh, uh, in the end? So I, I spot the Lahom, Lahom Burglar. Uh, what else did yeah. you go with? Yes, that is correct. So all the cosmetics I brought, none of them were painted. And because of, you know, how much keys are worth, I s decided to spend the remaining amount of refine in buying paints. So basically, uh, the mask, I've got La Home Beglery for the mask. As for the shirt, to replicate Sly's kind of scarf kind of thing, I got the Rhodes Co. Robe. Um, in the terms of the... Um, the bottom half of the body, of course, there's the raccoon tail and the fact that he doesn't wear any pants. Uh, clearly, that's not something that was it's not in easy my... It's to replicate uh, in TF2, you know? <laughs> yeah. So basically, I figured, hmm, what would be the best thing I could wear for shoes? Oh, I know. What about the sneaky spats of sneaking? Because Spy is a classy guy, you know, he's always trying to charm the ladies. And I figured, hey, this these shoes could work pretty well with, you know, the whole theme of Sly Cooper as a whole. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So I, I really like this loadout. You know, it's 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 such a nice reference to something that um, obviously you're very passionate about. And I just think you did a really good job in replicating it, man. The paints are such a nice touch as well. It really does go with the theme. So, Maddie, that is just about it for the One Key Challenge. Thank you so much for coming on the channel. Ooh, I really I back to just <laughs> That's all good. Just click back to TF2. Um, that's all good, man. So thank you so much for coming on the channel. I really do appreciate it. Is there anything in particular you would like down below? Of course, you will find a link to your YouTube channel. Is there anything else you'd like, maybe? Um, the only things in particular is, of course, there's the main channel. Um, I do, ironically speaking, with you and your second channel. 
I in fact have my own second channel called Medix Plays. It's basically a place where I do Let's Plays in particular. Okay. Um, and the only other particular bits are just, you know, social media. You know, I've got my Twitter, my Discord, my Steam group, the Facebook, etc, etc. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So you guys will find a link to Maddie's socials down below along with his second channel. I would really go and recommend you guys check it out. And also, we have a video going up on Maddie's channel as well where me and him delve through the depths of r slash tf2 so you guys can go over and check that out as well Maddie, it's been a pleasure mate thank you so much for coming on and uh yeah guys thank you so much for watching leave a like if you enjoyed and peace feeling good mate it's never gonna come like skate before i'm so consistent like my heartbeat always up the top like body in the scene nobody's getting past me you think you're better than me hardly i'm my ones like a one-man army gotta grind up and get myself a car g a nice job with the palm trees, but until then I'll focus on my craft. See, I get a lot of hate like trash guys stop, but your girl gets gassed at the track.